Right, there's a look at the next few hours. We do have some clouds still in play. A lot of the rain showers have started to move out, but the temperatures are going to be in the 70s. Feels a little thick out there, doesn't it? But for the most part, that humidity is uh, really more stagnant farther south. We're seeing a few more bubbles uh, on the radar right now, specifically out to the southwest of Richland County, uh, due west of Belleville at this point. Some scattered showers farther down to the south toward the Columbus area. But here in northeast Ohio, we are mostly dry. There's a few little sprinkles out there. The bigger picture, though, shows that we're not quite done yet. There's a large storm system circulating in the northern Great Lakes. And on the uh, back side of that, on the, the south side of that, we have a new a uh, couple of cold fronts that are sweeping across the area. One such cold front uh, is kind of connected uh, to the Chicago area at this point, and that will kind of sweep right up across northeast Ohio as we head through the night tonight. We'll have another cold front coming early morning tomorrow, and then a much larger uh, kind of ending to this whole system will sweep through as we get into Thursday and ultimately uh, by the time Friday rolls around. So things are actually looking better for the weekend. I'll show you the weekend specifically in just a moment. But first, your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast as we talk about the shower chances that are coming and going. When we don't have that rain, we're probably going to see mainly cloudy skies with some breaks in the overcast every now and then. Midnight temperatures in the 70s. Tomorrow morning, we're going to start off right around 70 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, maybe some patchy fog around. As the day goes on, we'll go back and forth. We're going to call it variably cloudy skies or clouds and sun because we will have some sun breaks in there. When we get the sun, the temperatures are going to hike up. The warming temperatures start to trigger more shower and thunderstorm development, so it's kind of like getting into this cycle here. By the time we get into 6 p.m. on Thursday, you can see our temperatures well into the 80s. We still have that southwest wind, clouds on the increase, and then those scattered storms begin to develop for Thursday night into Friday. I think it's a short window, nothing severe, just scattered scattered showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder moving through by Friday morning. But once we hit Friday morning, temperatures start off with 70. We see the clouds and then those clouds start to clear away. The most important thing to note, though, is the wind direction because the wind goes west and then ultimately northwest and that will drive much cooler, drier air in here. And that is how we will start the day on Saturday with some phenomenal conditions. So back out on this big picture in your National Design Mart, we're going to kind of see that swirl kind of work its way through the Great Lakes area and then watch how especially once we get past Friday all of that action moves east and we start to get into high pressure coming at us from the northwest and that will really mean a beautiful weekend for us. It's all here in your Union Home Mortgage forecast. Mid 80s tomorrow, isolated rain chances. We will see some sun later in the day on Friday especially and then that drier air moves in. Low 80s, lots of sunshine on Saturday, sunny skies back into the mid 80s on Sunday and then the heat returns. We're talking temperatures well into the 80s and then sneaking into the 90s as we move through next week. Russ? All right, Betsy with a B. Thank you.